In this tutorial, I will show you how to install NetBeans IDE 12.6 for Java 17 and Java FX 17. When you go to NetBeans website, it seems like a 12.5 to download. So you can go to URL. You can change to um, MB126 and then 126. Enter. As you now it appears, it seems like they haven't updated the web page yet. Or you can go back to the first page, just go to download. Now if you look down here, we have uh, Apache NetBeans 12.6. So you can download it from here. I think when you watch this video, I hope they already fixed the website. Okay, I'll download it. Good news is uh, they fixed the problem with uh, installing for JDK 17. As we can see, I have a JDK 17.0.1. Next, this is the latest version, so I will uncheck for updates. Finish. Okay, I will not import. So by default, okay. That means ID 12.6 is uh, configured with uh, JDK 17. So, but somehow the menus are missing. So you need to activate MB Java. So to do that, um, you just need to create one project. And then you will say you need to install MB Java. Java support NetBeans. So you can say OK. Download. Activate. So look at the menu. It will be activated for Java support. Finish. It's turning on modules. Wait for a while. Look at your menu bar. As you can see, uh, menus appear. Now the Java support is uh, coming with NetBeans. Finish. Let me quickly show you how to use Java project with the uh, latest NetBeans 12.6. Then now we move to Java FX support. System R print and then hello world. You can run project directly. You will compile it first, then run it. Hello world. So it seems like a straightforward Java project. Let's change this Java project to be a um, Java FX project. If you go here, other, now you can see that there is no Java FX project support. Okay. Let's cancel. To activate JavaFX, okay, you can restart your NetBeans first. Then here, Tools, Options, go to Java, click JavaFX. Here you go, JavaFX implementation for Windows. Install, Offset, Install. So this is the module um, and plugin for the pins so that you can use Java FX project. Okay, it will take a, for a while. Okay, let's see um, whether now we can use Java FX. Okay. 
on package, we can add others. Here we can see that's our RefX. So we are going to add empty FXML. Next. That's fine. We will use Java controller. Next. I will now use CSS. Finish. So now we can see that um, this project does not have a JavaFX library. That does not come with uh, JDK 17. So you need to add Java files. In my case, it's on the program files. Java, JavaFX SDK 17.0.1. On the library, you can add them all. So that we can have an external Java file so that we can work with the JavaFX project. Okay, um, because this is a Java application, we need to we switch Java project to JavaFX deployment model. Okay, we will create the JavaFX application class. Then uh, let me select the package. So it will be in the same package. Modify project. Project will be modified to uh, JavaFX deploy model. Okay. Now we have a JavaFX uh, deploy model, or we can say JavaFX project. Okay, let's build it. Okay, there is a problem with uh, build. Okay. Okay, unable to um, go to properties. Here, build package. You can uncheck build jar after compile because uh, NetBeans end support uh, does not support JDK 11 or higher version. So we use uh, turn it off. Okay, let's try to learn it. When you try to learn your project, again, you are going to face same problem. So to avoid this problem, you need to make sure that you can add VM options. Go to learn VM options. You can specify where your JavaFX um, SDK libraries are. Module pass. This is the library I have. Paste it. In this case, I'm using two extra modules. Add modules, JavaFX controls, then JavaFX FXML. Okay. Let's try to learn it. Okay, you won't be able to learn this project, but you can learn your FXML main class. Okay, extend application. This is the main methods. So right click, learn this file, not a project. Okay, now we can click. We can see the hello world. Okay, this is the how we can use JavaFX with uh, NetBeans uh, 12.6. That's all. Thank you.